Hello. This video is a more detailed tutorial for obtaining the credentials and setting up my Unity projects, which require IBM Watson services. During this tutorial, we will use the Unity project which uses Watson speech to text to convert the input audio speech, Watson Assistant to generate a chat response, and Watson text to speech to convert the text response into audio speech. Oculus Lip Sync then utilizes the audio input to animate the mouth and lips of a 3D character model. The Watson settings can be set the same way for the other projects. Please go to the GitHub repository shown and clone or download the Unity project. If you downloaded the project as a zip file, unzip it. Then, open Unity Hub, add the project, and open the project. After the Unity project is opened, go to the Scenes folder under Assets and open the Oculus Lip Sync Chat scene. Before we run the project, we must enter the Watson settings. The file can be found in the Resources folder under Assets. Select the Watson Settings file. You can see the empty fields for the settings on the right in the Unity Inspector. We must set up the Watson services to determine the settings. Please go to the IBM Cloud website and create an account if you do not have one. Then, log on with your credentials. We will create the Watson speech to text, assistant, and text to speech services for our chat bot. Go to the search field at the top of the page and enter the word, speech. Choose and open speech to text. To set up the service, choose a region for the location of your service. To avoid charges, choose the light plan, which is free. Once you are sure that you have the correct selections, click on the create button. Click on Manage in the menu on the left. You should then see your speech to text API key and service URL here. Copy the API key to your Watson settings in Unity. Please also copy the service URL and paste it into Unity in the correct field. Go back to the search field at the top and enter the word, speech, again. Please select and open text to speech this time. Set up this service in a similar manner by choosing a region and making sure you have selected the light plan, unless you really want a paid plan with more features. Click on the create button to create the text to speech service. Please click on Manage in the menu on the left again and copy your API key and service URL for text-to-speech into the correct fields of the Watson settings in the Unity project. The settings for Assistant are a bit more complicated. In addition to the API key and service URL, we also need the Assistant ID and version date for Assistant. Go to the search field at the top again and look for Assistant. 
Select and open Assistant, select your region, make sure you have the desired plan selected, and click on Create. You should see your Watson Assistant API key and service URL if Manage is selected in the menu on the left. It is very important to use the URL on the page shown here. There is another URL on a different page with the Assistant ID. This other URL should not be used as the service URL for this Unity project. Please copy the API key and service URL to the Unity Project Watson settings. You can find the version date in the API documentation at IBM as shown here. It looks like the version specified by the Unity Project, as downloaded, is not the most recent version anymore. You can try changing it to the more recent date shown in the documentation, but I have not tested it yet, since I just noticed a more recent version date now. We need to launch the Assistant before we can find the Assistant ID. Click on the Launch button to do this. The website might switch you to another page as shown here, where it is asking us to create an action. If this occurs, just click on the top icon in the vertical menu bar on the left to go back to the assistance page. You can see that my first assistant is already in the list. If you do not see any assistants, click on the Create Assistant button. To open the assistant, click on the rectangle enclosing my first assistant. In this case, there is already an action skill which is apparently beta at this time. Click on the symbol in the upper right of the box with this action skill to delete it. We will use one of the pre-made dialog skills instead. Click on the Create Dialog Skill button. On the next page, click on Use Sample Skill, then click Customer Care Sample Skill. To edit the skill, click the rectangle enclosing my Customer Care Sample Skill. We can add built-in intents to the dialog by selecting all the options shown. Explaining intents is beyond the intended scope of this tutorial. The concept of an intent is common in various chatbot platforms. For now, just assume that adding these intents will ideally enable the chatbot to respond better to various queries. You do not have to choose all of them if you do not want to. At the upper right, we can click on the Try It button to test the chat. You may see a message that indicates Watson is still training. If we type in a query before the training is complete, Watson will probably not answer well, as shown here. You can see here that the answers improve after the training is complete. To obtain the assistant ID, click on the icon at the upper left in the vertical bar to return to the assistance page. Click on the icon at the right of the rectangle enclosing my first assistant and select settings. Click on API details in the menu on the left. You should see a list of parameters. The assistant ID is the second parameter shown. The URL below it should not be used as the service URL for this Unity project. Please use the URL shown earlier. Now, copy and paste the assistant ID into the Unity project. The program should now run if the Unity Play button is pressed. If the program does not work, please check that the correctly URL was used. Another common error is having extra spaces at the beginning of the parameters when they are typed or pasted into the Unity project. Trailing spaces at the end may also result in errors, although I have not yet seen anybody do this. 
Before we run the project, let's change the speaking voice to one of the higher quality voices, which are labeled with V3. Hello, I'm a demo customer care virtual assistant to show you the basics. I can help with directions to my store, hours of operation and booking an in-store appointment. Where are you located? We're located by Union Square on the corner of 13th and Broadway. What are your hours? Our hours are Monday to Friday 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday and Saturday 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. I would like an appointment on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Let me confirm. Do you want an appointment for Tuesday at 3 p.m.? Is this correct? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Just let me know if you need anything else. Goodbye. So long. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.